Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings. Have you ever heard whispers of Oklahoma Onion Smash Burger but had no idea what it was? Well friends, I have you covered. I've recently experienced the burger nirvana that is Oklahoma Onion Smash Burgers. And let me tell you, it is so good. And trust me, this juicy masterpiece is the perfect way to celebrate the 4th of July. Those crispy, caramelized onions are like fireworks in your mouth. In this video, you'll learn the secret to getting those ridiculously crispy burger patties, how to caramelize the onions to absolute perfection how to build the ultimate Oklahoma onion smash burger and of course I'll be sharing tips along the way so are you ready to experience the burger nirvana of Oklahoma onion smash burgers then let's get started all right team let's get our hands dirty and craft these smash burgers first things first the patties we want something with a good amount of fat like 80 20 ground beef the fat adds a ton of flavor and helps us achieve that juicy goodness we all crave today i use some ground brisket that i made at home if you're curious about grinding your own meat or breaking down large cuts of meat in general let me know in the comments speaking of ground brisket i've got a detailed video of how to grill a brisket burger on a charcoal grill be sure to stick around until the end of this video for that link and while i have you here make sure to like and subscribe not only are you supporting a small channel but you are playing an integral part in helping the channel grow now on to forming some perfectly smashable patties i'm using a one-third measuring cup this ensures all our burgers are roughly the same size for even cooking we're going to loosely pack the meat this looseness allows allows us to smash the burgers more easily later and creates little pockets for those delicious caramelized onions. With our patties prepped, we're ready to move on to what makes the burger different, the onions. When it comes to onions, I like to use either a sweet onion or a white onion that has a very sharp taste. Cut the onions as thin as possible. This will allow them to caramelize a lot easier and to totally melt into the burger patties. Onto the sauce. Today, we're gonna make a burger sauce. We will start with cutting up some pickles, Make sure to cut or dice them very finely. You could even use a pre-made relish. Next, we will add our dry ingredients, which are paprika, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Then we'll mix up some ketchup, mayo, and mustard. This is where you will make the sauce to your taste. If you really like mustard, add more mustard. If you really like ketchup, add more ketchup. Or if you really like mayo, add more mayo to make it more prominent. You can even add some Worcestershire sauce to add a beefy taste. The beauty of this sauce is that it can be made different each time, depending on how you're feeling that day. Once you've made the sauce, let it sit in the fridge for a little bit. It's time to get the griddle going and cook up the burgers. I have found that high heat allows you to create a great cust on these burgers. But before we grill the burgers, let's make some bacon. As you can see here, I have loaded up the griddle with some bacon slices. Once those are cooked through, leave the grease behind. Now most people would clean the grill first and you can totally do that, but I want to cook the burgers in the bacon to add just a touch of flavor. But we also need some bones, so let's toast them. Set the buns down onto the griddle. For an extra crispy crust, spread a thin layer of mayo to the bun and then toast it. Place some of the thinly sliced onions down in the grease, then add the patties. Use either some spatulas or a smash burger press, or like me, a bacon weight and some parchment paper. The paper prevents the burger patties from sticking to the device that is gonna be doing the smashing. Since these are thin patties, there really isn't a choice when it comes to the level of doneness. You don't get to choose rare, medium rare, or medium well. Pretty much the only choice is gonna be well done. And that is good, because these patties are thin. They're not gonna be tough to chew. And by taking them to a well done, you get a really nice crust and a ton of crispiness. When it comes to seasoning the patties, it's really up to you. You can go with classics like salt, pepper, and garlic, or your favorite barbecue rub. You do want something that has a decent amount of sugar or salt because those are gonna help build a crust. Today, I'm using Kinder's Buttery Burger Blend. It has a nice blend of butter, salt, garlic, mushroom, lemon, and a touch of chili powder. After seasoning, let the burgers continue to cook. You really don't have to flip until the burgers are almost cooked through. This will create that great crust. Do a flip and then season the burgers again then add some cheese which today i'm using american cheese signals i have found that this type of cheese melts perfectly if you want a little bit of kick add some pepper jack and it'll just take this burger to the next level once the burgers are cooked remove them from the griddle and let's take them inside to assemble when it comes to assembling it's pretty simple take the toasted buns add the burger sauce on both sides then add bacon then the cheesy and crispy beef patties i like to make mine a double so i'm going to add another patty here add some onions if you want and then throw on the lid and there you have it folks a fresh of the griddle oklahoma onion smash burger that is just waiting to be devoured 
All that there is left to do is to serve it up with your favorite sides. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like and subscribe as this is the best way to support the channel. Or you can buy me a coffee. I left a link in the description. And if you really like this video, check out the playlist suggested at the end. It features charcoal grilling recipes. There's recipe for chicken wings, for ribs, for burgers, for hot dogs, for meatloafs, and a whole lot more. For all types of great barbecue recipes, visit my website, smokybeginnings.com. And until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.